All right, guys, Chuck here, Gnarly Magazine, and this is Neil from RDN Fabrication, and we're going to do a little walkthrough of his shop, talk about some hot rods, some cars, some four-wheel drive shenanigans, and uh, just have a little fun. Basically, this is RDN Fabrication, and I build kind of, just build cars. Have fun. It's all about fun. So, I guess we'll start here. This is a 32 Ford for a really good friend of mine. It's a client. Uh, 32 Ford, got a blown small block in it. It's designed, styled, I guess is the word for it. Styled to be like if a late 50s show car turned into a drag car. 383, uh, dark block, AFR heads, uh, NOS 671. NOS enough that uh, it was been pruned. When it, when it appeared, it was completely NOS as it can be. So I had a really good friend of mine, Eric, run through it, cleaned it up for us. It's got dire front and rears on it, Magneto. So that kind of makes like 634, give or take. F1 uh, shot mounts have been cut up. You know, normal hot rod stuff. Let's see what else. Got an auto gear four speed. I built all the chassis. Just started out with rails. SoCal front axle. One of their old brake kits. The rear end is a SoCal rear end, and then all the brackets and stuff I welded on. Built all the trailing bars. Just kind of a hot rod. You know, it's got a couple cool things on it. Um, most people, they love the front spreader bar. Everything is dirty as shit. It's a part of a drilling rig, because we're from Texas, so why not? So that's kind of this. Uh, I'll be eventually completing this. Full interior, a buddy of mine, Mike, is going to help me with the painting the body, and he's also going to help me with the interior. Y'all are going to love the interior. Not, if you are into old cars, you'll know what the interior is when you see it. It's a uh, Tijuana style interior, if you, anybody knows what that is. Then we got this uh, tank that Chuck just brought me. That Chuck. But uh, this will be a display for a client. He just wants a display. So, just to play belly tanker. I don't know. Looks like fun. Wait, belly tanker for uh, Bonneville belly tanker style? Bonneville style. He sent me a couple pictures of like the SoCal, the SoCal, the original SoCal belly tanker. And he said, something like this, but I'm going to hang it on the wall. So I said, okay, we'll just, it's literally not going to have a motor in it. It'll have a seat, a steering wheel. It'll look like it has exhaust pipes on it. And we'll have an axle and a rear end, but it'd be completely empty. Keep it light. I'm going to literally take everything out of the banjo. Probably use one of the banjos that we have laying around that's pretty rusty and shitty. You know, and some wire wheels on it. You know, you don't want to waste good parts. So that's all that's going to be. Uh, of course, there's crap everywhere. Um, little change, not a hot rod. This is a pre-runner that I'm building for another customer. It is um, bodied as an 08 to 13 Chevy truck. But this is basically kind of like your California desert pre-runner. Uh, this one will have full interior, all leather, LS powered, of course. It's got a, has a 4L60 right now, but he has a turbo 400 with an uh, underdrive in it. So we're going to change that out, hence why everything's kind of movable. But just kind of starting with this, everything's 4130 on this one. So this will have 40s, you know, as I said, full cab, fully sealed, all that kind of fun stuff. Big axle in the rear that um, part of it was done by Blitzkrieg, and then I added some of it too. Uh, it's not finished, it's just kind of started. So that's kind of what this is. Super basic. Well, basic for a pre-runner. K5 Blazer for another guy. This one's, again, complete turnkey. Uh, the body showed up to a gentleman out of Tennessee. So this is for him, his wife, and his kids. This is, I mean, I like hot rods, but I really, I kind of end up with these really big full builds because uh, I'm really good at taking them from nothing to completely running driving cars. So that's, that's what this is. This one is a 6.2 powered, eight speed transmission. Um, it'll have a GM transfer case, spider tracks axles. So it's got a really good, it'll have a really good foundation. Won't really do much. Honestly, probably wouldn't see that much off-road. If anything, a lot of mountain roads, like your fire roads and stuff like that. Just doing, right now, um, just got the chassis all laid out. It's super simple chassis, all boxed, quarter inch, two by four. Uh, doing the body mounts, 
you know, I built a full chassis, got all the sheet metal work started. Of course, it's a blazer, so it's super rusty. They're kind of like that. It is what it is, you know. I understand that there are kits out there and everybody makes floor pans and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of change this one up. So that's why I did custom floor pans in the front. I'll chop off the whole firewall, do a custom firewall, integrated cage, um, probably again, leather interior. Just a really nice vehicle to drive around. This one will be on 37s. It'll actually be shorter than this at right height. So I'm gonna move the quarter panels around a little bit. Um, I did it on some two-wheel drive stuff. The rear wheel well opening is lower on all the C10s, the 67 to 72s. They're always lower, about an inch, like three quarters to an inch lower. So I'm gonna raise this up to match the front. Plus I'm gonna raise them up even more and change the uh, arch in it just so it clears at full articulation in case he ever does take it off road. So that's kind of what this is. And then we have the tiny T, which is buried in the corner. This is kind of a, technically, I guess it's my car, but I uh, was building it for a client. We kind of bailed out on, just did some changing, some, some stuff changed. So we made a deal and I purchased it. So now it was gonna be Oldsmobile powered, but now I'm gonna pull the Olds out and probably straight six power it. I kind of like them. I like the off, the weird little kind of kooky thing that straight sixes you know have i like like cody wall's coupe is super red with the uh who makes that who makes that overhead valve conversion i can't remember. wayne oh, the wayne, wayne, wayne. yeah yeah the wayne overhead valve oh like uh cedric has, has yeah like wayne. cedric has yeah. his cedric both cedric and cody walls both have that really red uh that really bad uh 12 port i think is what they call it or something like that i can't yeah. remember so it won't have that, it'll still be just a straight six, but this is a, I know that really went with nowhere. Um, this is what we call, or I call a runway car. So, you know, in the late forties, right after the war, because I'm from Texas in the Midwest, you know, we didn't have Bonneville or anything like that, but all the GIs and everybody came back. They all, everybody that was in the Midwest, they still want to do hot rod things and you know race cars and stuff like that so when the planes were landing they were out there running on the runways so this was just kind of a model t that's super cut up new work you know today's quality of craftsmanship with the old styling of old cars it has a uh, 26 27 t body that's sawed in half and narrowed it's got a 25 deck lid and basically now the body is literally as wide as the deck lid so uh, I don't have the body here at the moment. I took it to my store to get out of my way. But as you see, it's super Swiss cheesed, little cage in it. It'll have uh, probably cow steering. Just fun little car. Uh, I talked to Cody Walls. He told me what transmission to run. So I'm really stoked. So I'm super thankful for him to let me know on that, what transmission to run. So I'm really excited to try to find one of those. So it'll make it definitely drivable. Uh, it'll have, you know, of course it'll have the 40 Ford 44 juice brakes, uh, I got a banjo, it has juice brakes on it. Basically, as you can see, it'll basically look like it got ran through a Swiss cheese. That's, everything will have holes, like everything. Even the, even the supports in the bottom of the body, I'm probably gonna put holes in. It's just, I kinda like that. I should have called it the Holy T. <laughs> this guy, the name is not set. Maybe it'll be the Holy T. Holy T, I don't know. Tedious? I don't fucking know. It names itself. <laughs> Carl named itself. It might change a million times. Holy T is actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I maybe, I don't know. Maybe it will get rid of the tiny T called Holy T. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just let it name itself. There's crap laying on anything on it. But Chuck sold me the grill that is this grill. So, at least I got a part for the body here. We got the deck one. Ah, oh, true story. I got a deck lid. I got some doors. Where'd that nice turtle deck come from? I don't know. This guy, they call him Chuck. They call him <laughs> Chuck Three? I think, yeah, Chuck Three. That's Chuck Three. <laughs> Chuck and his Titans. Don't worry about that. Like this. Another client I actually just uh, finishing up on this one. Kind of did the initial drive around. Got a couple of things I got to tweak, carve, stuff like that. 
But this is a 77 Scout. Yeah, 77 Scout. Uh, they brought it to me. It was already painted. You know, kind of stock, but it's got a Mako paint job and some other stuff. So now it's got, let's see if Chuck can get glared the hell out of. Small block Chevy, automatic. Um, I basically built everything but the body. So, uh, coilover conversion in the front, radius arm setup I built. Built the cage. Change the battery, so I had to do that. Built all the cage, all the floor mounts, shifter mount, audio. Got a little audio system hidden in here. Side pipe exhaust, just to be obnoxious. Because nobody likes Priuses. If you're watching this, you probably don't like Prius. If you do, that's cool too. I don't care. Um, oil cooler, trans cooler is all in the back. This thing does not have top or windows. So... It can live right there. It's got holes, perforated holes everywhere. Spare lives in the back, built all the bumpers. So, just a cool little driver. Basically just built to drive in traffic here in Texas. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with Neil at uh, RDN Fabrication. So Neil's gonna, where can we find you at, Neil? You can find me on Instagram at at N-R-I-M-E-R. -E that's it. And uh, yeah, that's better. Because Facebook, there's really nothing good on Facebook. Who gets on Facebook? Seriously, like, who gets on Facebook? I don't know. Okay, That's cool. a question. <laughs> That's a, I'm asking you to ask them. Tell us below who gets on Facebook. Also, if you guys liked any of these builds we got going on, let us know in the comments what you'd like to see once he progresses. And I'll think about coming back out and hanging out with Neil. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. Northern Magazine. Make sure, subscribe, like, give us comments. Let us know what we're doing right. Let us know what we're doing wrong. More about what we're doing right. I don't want to hear about what I'm doing wrong. Peace out.